Let's implement a simple slideshow kind of thing which changes the picture on the page say every 5 seconds. I am starting with this simple HTML which has a div element of 750 pixel width and is at the center of the page. This contains an image element inside it which does not have a source set yet. And the height and width of this image element is set to 100% so that it fits the containing div element. I don't want to use a complicated HTML because our focus here is on JavaScript. Now what I want to do here is that I will set the SRC attribute of the page through JavaScript. So let's first hook a function to the page load event. So we will have onload attribute of body called the load function. So let's implement the load function inside the script element of the page. First let's alert a message and see the page on the browser. This looks fine. The page is empty because the image element doesn't have an image source set as yet. Let me remove the alert and now we need to get to our image. Our div has an id attribute here. So we can say document.getElementById and pass image canvas as the id. Now how do we get to the image element? Well we can access the image elements by tag name inside the div element and then get to the first one using the index 0. All right? And then we can access the src attribute and set its value to the first element of the pictures array which is basically an array of the URLs of some image elements from Wikimedia Commons. Let's reload the page and make sure we see our image. Let's change the picture to the next one right here on the console window. So this is how the slideshow would work. But we need to do it with a timer like behavior for which we will use the set timeout function as explained in the next lecture. Now we could also have used the child nodes for this div element. But then while building the DOM tree some empty text nodes get appended because of which if you thought that the image was the first child of the div element that may not be so. So be careful when using child nodes, first child and last child properties. And it would be better that you first check on the console which child do you want to access before implementing it in your code.